everybody, Cindy Otter here with Myers Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing really well. Um, I want to show you my journey, um, well actually just my iCads for June of 2022. So I'm going to sit them here. Um, now what the theme was, we did this with Art Joya Sharing and the theme was different backgrounds and it was really cool. Let me bring you in just a little bit. Okay. So this was number one. I've actually whoops, written on the back of them what they are. This one was coated paper. So it's got like a, a, a coating on it. It's um, glossy. So that was my first one. This one, I just laughed when I did this. And I didn't really want to put it up, but, you know, everybody got a kick out of it. So this is watercolor. Um, <laughs> I had some watercolor on this card and I just started playing around and I come up with this little dinosaur and you know look at him he's kind of weird looking but anyways um that was number two kind of cute uh this one was embossing and what I did is this card was actually I don't know if you can see it actually embossed by an embossing folder and then I embossed the embossing with some blue and white embossing powder so that was kind of cool uh, this one was index card. So the background uh, was an index card that I cut in this shape and put onto a piece of scrap paper. And this is one of my mushrooms that I had done, I think, in fodder school. This was fodder school as well. And it says, Become Your Best You. This one was something and I didn't have it so I used cardboard. I think this was cork and I didn't have it so I used cardboard. Um, this I kind of did on a steampunkish theme. I got this little knife here. I don't know just some odds and ends, some cogs and it just says built because that's what I did to it. I built it. Uh, this one was washi tape. I love the, the background is actually washi. I really love it. It's a beautiful washi tape. It's a wide one. Um, and then this is a little pot and a little flower that I think are really cool. And then just some glass, small glass beads along the top, which I thought was kind of neat. This one is music paper. And as you can see in the background, there's music paper. This is a Dilutions. Um, it says live free and let be. And just a little butterfly here. I thought it was kind of cool. This one is a receipt. If you look in the background you can see a receipt it's from CVS and I just took that I took these um, flowers that I did in fodder school and just put inspire on there I thought it was really cute and I used a stencil on the background this one was wood um, the background is wood and everything on it is wood um, of course with the exception of the paint uh, and I just played around. This is embossed. These are actually all embossed. Um, every now and then I'll get out my embossing powders with a bunch of wood shapes and I'll just go to town embossing stuff. So that's what this all is. And this one just says magic. This one was magazine page and I had this picture and I just, I've absolutely loved it and I hadn't had the quite the right place to use it. So I put it here. I just put a little bit of glitter in the water. You probably can't see because of the light. See it? And then um, I just put Grateful. I really like that one. This one was foil. Um, no, I'm sorry. This one was glitter. This was a glitter background. So I took a piece of glitter paper, as you can see. Um, these are things that I just die cut out of papers that I used. Um, and this is a piece of washi. So, um, yeah. So there it is. Hold on, just one moment. All right, sorry about that. Some bad news just came in, but that's okay. Um, this one is stenciled. This is a background um, paper that was stenciled. So I played around with it, and I just put these. These are actually done in fodder school again. Um, just some of these hearts that I decided. These are all watercolor, and then I stenciled over them. And it says, I don't need an inspirational quote. I just need art. And boy, that's true. This one was canvas. Um, there is a canvas background on here. Um, and again, I had these die cuts that I've done a while back. And I just, this is art by Marlene. Same with this little guy. And it says, you have the world at your feet. And I just thought that was kind of cool. This one was a bonus. This was, I think, the very first video that we sent out. 
that we did. Um, and this was done on a circle, um, a round, basically a round ATC. Well, I don't stick with you know, putting them in ATC pockets. Mine always go in a box. So mine's pretty big. Um, again, these are fodder school flowers. This is kindness. This is a Tim Holtz little girl, some lace. And I just had fun with that one. That one I have a video on my channel for. Um, this one is a book text. So in the back, we have our book text. And this is just another die I had, um, a little bit of a piece of a ribbon I had. It's kind of like a metal piece. It's actually really cool. Um, and this just says, I'm not arrogant, I am just myself. I just thought that was cute. And then I embossed a little bit of the paw prints in the back. So I thought that was cool. This one is jelly print. Um, I had done a jelly... I keep going high, I don't know why. Um, I had done a jelly print where... I had used some paper clips in the bed, you know, on it. So I thought this turned out really cool. And the flowers are, of course, doodles from Vicki Brown at Messy Table Studio. I absolutely love her flowers. And this one just says smile. This one is a paper bag. There is a paper bag under here. Um, you can barely see it, but it is here. I took the paper bag. I did a little paint. I did a bit much of gold glitter on it. Um, can you see it? Um, I had this little mermaid. I thought she was cool. Some pieces. Of the, I think these are off art by Marlene, maybe. And a little seashell. I said, love this. And then I said, inspire. So I thought this one was kind of cute. This one, eh. Um, this one was done on a napkin. All of this that you see, the red, the blue, all of that's a napkin. And I've had all these chipboard pieces. Can you see how thick they are? Forever. And I just wanted to use up one, so here it is. I put Dream Big, and then again, I used a little bit of that ribbon. That's what they call it anyways, ribbon, um, for just a few pieces on here. This one was really cool. This one, um, I do have a video on my channel. This is called um, Paint Chips. And what I did, if you look on my video, you'll see that I... I staggered a bunch of paint chips and then, whoops, sorry, again, I apologize. Um, I staggered a bunch of paint chips like this and then I made little pockets out of them. I just attached the bottoms. So I just kind of decided to stick all this little stuff in here that kind of remind me of home. And it says, My Beautiful World. I had fun with this, a lot of fun with this one. So um, this one is envelope. There is an envelope in the back. Did a bunch of X's and O's on it. Um, let me change this because this is driving me crazy. I'm going to change this so I know where I'm at. <laughs> um, yeah, so this little girl is an art by Marlene. Again, I used some of my bling ribbon here, tape. And yeah, it's just kind of cool. This one was denim. Um, I did have this little denim pocket. I got these years and years and years ago. I think at Michael's or I'm not sure where. And then I made this little card, this little denim card. <clears throat> There's nothing in it, but I made it to put in this pocket on this ATC. So, come on. It goes right in here. So it's a bird says spirit and a kitty cat. All right, this one was newspaper. Now, I don't get the newspaper. I don't have any newspaper. Um, so I talked to a friend of mine, and she says, yeah, I got some newspaper I'll send you. Well, this is the very top heading of her newspaper. And, you know, I thought about putting something over it. I thought about, you know, doing doodles and stuff to it. But honestly, I just like it the way it is. So that one is newspaper. This is burlap. Um, I did burlap. These are a couple wooden pieces. Again, a wooden piece that I had embossed. Um, yeah, this was the die cut in the background. It was just kind of cool. So that's my burlap. This one is manila card. As you can see on the back, it's a manila card. Um, played around with some stencils, used some of the tape. Um, I'm pretty sure we all have um, a couple die cuts, that kind of thing, and just played around. It says, a loving heart is the truest wisdom from Charles Dickens. So, 
That one's neat. This one I really like. This one turned out cute. This one is a playing card, and that's actually the playing card back. And um, this is a gel print I put on. This is an art by Marlene, and then I added the glasses to him. Same here. Added a little bit of glitter. Um, it's hard for me to get you guys. I have a lot of glitter on things. But anyways, and I just thought that was cool, so I put lovely. Not neat. This one is homemade paper. This one I actually have a video on my YouTube channel as well. Um, I used a bunch of papers that I got from Jerry's Artorama. Um, this is piece of the paper, the red and green and blue. Um, I used some, uh, I don't know what you call it. It's a like a cottony paper that when you put it down, it just kind of disappears, but it gives you a little bit of texture. I thought that was cool. And a few other things, um, you know, some stamps that kind of stuff and it says avoid stress stay home and craft which I totally agree with this one I had fun with this one is a wallpaper so the background is wallpaper that I um, actually the same friend that sent me the newspaper sent me the wallpaper because I didn't have any of that either um, and then these are art by Marlene. This one I rose up a little bit just to give it a little bit of dimension. And then this is just a butterfly um, paper clip that I thought was kind of cool. And it says you belong. And of course there's glitter that I added to the house as you probably can't see. This one is cereal box. <laughs> this one was quite interesting. It says my life. And what I did is I took string gel, the golden string gel. And I just kind of all over the, the the ATC, and then I thought, hmm, what am I going to do with it? So I just let it sit and dry. I actually added a little black paint to the, the um, string gel, which is why it's black. Um, and then I got looking at it, and I'm like, what am I going to do with this background? And then, of course, I looked at my jelly rolls, so that happened and it says my life and I think it's kind of funny because it is really really chaotic and if you go back in my timeline of my entire life that's probably what it looks like <laughs> so that one was neat um, this one was supposed to be metal um, I don't I didn't have any metal this is actually a jelly print I covered up the back of this piece of paper with um, so it says no metal instead I used canvas um, I did a piece of canvas on here, as you can tell. Um, a couple die cuts that I had. Um, this frame was a die cut. I just put beautiful. I put this picture behind it. And this is actually a, a bobby pin. So I just kind of thought that looked neat right here on this corner, this flower. So there's that one. This one was a heavy textured, textured heavy gesso. And what I did is the back is really, really textured, or I'm sorry, the background is really textured. And I used a little bit of watercolor on it, and then I got this Art by Marlene little octopus out. I thought she was really cute. I put a party hat on her, and it says, I wish, I wish, I wish. So she's wishing. This one was a scrap paper book. Don't worry, we're almost done. Um, this one was for scrap paper scrapbook paper I'm sorry so there is a piece of scrapbook paper under here I found this little girl I thought she was really cool again some ribbon some different little I don't know what you want to call them gems and these um, I want to say origami and that's not it um, quilling uh, there's a pear a green apple and a red apple they were actually made by uh, messy table studio and I just absolutely love them and then I found this little gem heart to go on the corner so I just put it all together I think it ended up cool I like it this is last but not least this one was a bonus and this is on watercolor paper um, these are dye actually dyes that I purchased um, these little leaves and then I just decided to put some coloring on them I used again some ribbon or some you know gem ribbon whatever you want to call it this is just a little bit of texture that I had I did it to look like sand and then these I had to put these little eyeballs on them I just thought they were really cute they got little eyeballs but these are little turtles again done by as quilling by messy table studio she gifted me these oh gosh i can't tell you how long ago years ago and i always hadn't found the right thing 
to do on them yet to you know to use them on and I thought this was a perfect perfect time so and this one says life so here they all are um, I really hope you guys enjoyed my little stroll through my 30 days 30 days of ATCs bring you back out a little bit and yeah I had a lot of fun with it so if you see these challenges um, even if you can't do the entire month try to do a few because they're a lot of fun um, you get to use a lot of different things and you know I've got a real cute array of art here which I really enjoyed doing so I hope you guys enjoyed thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you again soon bye